Welcome to another Super Sham Tech video. While well, great quality requires great responsibility. Hey YouTube, this is Super Sham Mark 1234 um, from Super Sham Tech, and I'm going to be doing another software review. And this is going to be Paint.net. And no, it's not a website, but it's a program that's actually called Paint.net. Like right there, seriously. I mean, really, who would name it that? But that's not the point. So this is a completely free alternative to Photoshop. And, well, it's giving Photoshop a run for its money. Um, it has... For, 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 the, for the rare amount of people that don't know what Photoshop is, it's pretty much a photo editing software. And it's... I think it's about, like, 50 bucks from the Adobe website. And... This is this has almost all the exact same functionalities, um, but it's 100% free, um, and so that's the thing. The UI isn't as good as Photoshop, but I mean it's still extremely good, and um, you're gonna, you're probably gonna see uh, me using this in my videos more. So. Um, I'm not going to compare this to Photoshop that much, just to compare it to the default paint that you find in your PC. Um, so, what... This is extremely special for a few reasons, because, I mean, it's at least ten times more advanced than paint. Um, it's much easier, um, in a very weird way, it's... It's very organized, and so it's very easy to access that advancement and use it. Um, easy to make profile pictures, for example. A YouTube profile picture is 88 by 88, and so you go File, New, just like Photoshop, and the default is 800 by 600, you just do 88 by 88, you do OK. And this is exactly how big YouTube profile pic is, and I could zoom in, control, scroll, and I could go precise, like, woo, woo, and then when I zoomed out, it would be like that. As you can see right here, it tells you how much you've zoomed out. So about 100% is what I would go for. Um, so yeah, it's a very nice, handy tool to have installed on your computer. Um, definitely really useful for even minor things, and just controls it out. And when you are, let's say you do something blah 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 blah, and you fill it in, like let's say blue, and you do something, and, and whoops, what is that? I didn't want that. And so you can just select this with the uh, square key, and then click cut, and boom, it is gone. That's the default blank thing. It's not white either. And then you can even have a lasso select, which I'm not that good at, but it's something like this, and then just cut it, cut, um, file new, and then let's say I wanted to do, um, YouTube background, so 1200 by 1897. This is a YouTube background, right? And I could make like a nifty little, uh, a nice background, you know, it's going to be useful for things like this, that you really can't do in paint, and the only other way to do it is maybe if you found an online one on the cloud, or, you know, you would have to buy Photoshop, and you can print, save, save as, open, um, you can save, don't save, you know, don't save, and then what I, I do sometimes is I would take an image, right click it, and say, I tell it to open with paint.net, and then I would, what I would do is just edit it as if I was using, you know, Photoshop or Paint, as you can see, um, right now it's a bit slow, because paint.net does take up some memory, um, but see, with this image I can just edit it right off the bat, and the dimensions are right here, so this wouldn't be good for a profile pic, um, but see, it's, it's it's very nice little nifty thing to have on your computer. It's a very small installation file, so no problems in that hand. 
and it's it's a nice little tool. Um, I'm still rather new to it. Uh, I don't know why it's not letting me crop, <laughs> but I think what I have to do is something like this. So I want to do super, and then go to image, and then crop, and there we go. You just cropped it to super. That's right. And this this word right here is probably the best way to describe Paint.net. It's a super alternative to Photoshop. And just to compare this with Paint, which is what a lot of people compare this for, Paint is nothing like this. Paint is just bad. This is Paint. Paint, I mean, really. There's, there's no easy zooming function. The UI just sucks. It's not you can still make a nifty little thing let's see um you can't set the dimensions easily you you, you have to like drag and realize oh look 900 like blah 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 and if i wanted to do a profile pic i would have to go exactly deep 80 by 80 and i'm off so paint is nothing compared to paint on that i would highly recommend getting this uh program even if you don't do things like photo editing, it's still a very nifty thing to have. And up here is the preview of your uh, your picture. Another nifty thing is you can add layers. For example, I added another layer. And if I were to edit this layer, I could add, I could text this layer into pi. And then what would happen is, if I put both layers in, that is how it would look. Let's say I didn't, I can select which layers I want, so I don't want that layer, I don't want background, etc. And then I can add as many layers as I want, um, add a new layer, and then I could edit this layer, I could edit this layer by doing hi everyone, and then I could add all the layers, and this is what it would look like. So it's, it's a really nifty, it has a lot of nifty things, and the font selection is just huge so it has a lot of nifty things and it's an overall a very good program to have on your computer it's very useful it's a great alternative to photoshop and it is just that word right there it is indeed super so thanks for watching this video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did enjoy it be sure to like this video guys and for more videos like this be sure to subscribe so thanks for watching peace